Vincent, finally an agreement of sorts in uh, Cyprus late last night. And mm. I guess a lot of the focus was on uh, the hit to the depositors and the deposit guarantee. But I guess the big story perhaps is the, the bail-in of the senior bondholders. That changes everything, doesn't it? Absolutely. This is a very big moment, I think, in the whole approach to uh, rescuing banks and rescuing countries um, it, that are caught up in the Eurozone crisis. Um, the Cyprus deal essentially wipes out shareholders and all bondholders at Popular Bank of Cyprus. That's the number two lender in the country. Um, and uh, that breaks a taboo that has been very sort of fixed up to now, which was that the European Central Bank would not accept any senior bondholders taking any hit whatsoever from previous bank rescues. They're watching this very closely in Ireland, I can assure you. And why do you think it's changed? Is it just circumstance that they have to get the money from senior bondholders? Or do you think there's any softening around the idea that creditors are um, stakeholders as well and there's risk involved and they should be on the line? I, I think that it's certainly, um, I think it, it, uh, it is the result partly of that. But I think the other factor to take into account is that Germany um, is, I think, heartily sick of its taxpayers essentially bailing out um, all these all these countries. Um, I think that what this tells us is that the German government, at least in 2013, when there's a general election in Germany, um, will not tolerate future bailouts where German taxpayers are on the hook. So other people are going to have to to do to take the pain, and those people are senior bondholders. That's you know that's a big big shift in in policy, and I think that um, you know it's it's a political moment and it's also a technical moment for the ECB. Now, do you think there's a change in, a genuine change in attitude towards senior bondholders? Or this, in this particular case, the country is deemed to be small enough that we can test out um, breaking that nexus here, but actually for larger countries, larger bailouts, creditors will still be protected? Well, I think, you know, this is, the, the, this is what the rescue of Cyprus raises, this, this, this particular question. Cyprus is so small that it can be bullied around, and we've seen it being bullied around. I mean, mo let's face it, most of Cyprus' problems are their own making, but um, the, the, the rescue has been very ham-fisted, and I think that, that um, uh, you know, we need to take that into account. But, but um, you know, everybody says Cyprus is a special case, but they said that about every single rescue. I, w I don't believe a word of it. So in theory, um, funding costs should go up? Yes, and will go up, I suspect. And that will have implications, of course, for you know, any type of company presumably raising debt across Europe. Absolutely, and it also um, demands an awful lot of uh, bank capital to be held as well. I mean, this, this has major implications for the whole Basel III um, structure, it seems to me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we need to keep a very close eye on this, not just be um, distracted by the depositing side of this story. Thank you very much for that update.